Hello there everyone! Today I have a makeup tutorial for you and um, I'm using my Sephora Stargazer palette which was actually a free birthday gift from like years ago when I first started going to Sephora. So I'm going to be using um, these three colors right here for my eyes and then also I used a little bit from my Naked 2 palette. So if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching. I really really like this just for like an everyday nothing too special going on look. It's quick, it's easy, but it's something different than just like using browns on your lids. It's a little pop of color, so that's why I really enjoy using this for an everyday kind of makeup, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. I'll see you next time. Bye! So what I have on my face just to start it with is my foundation, and I have this Kat Von D Lock It Longwear Foundation, and this is like in the palest shade that it comes in, and um, I'm that pale uh, in the winter. So I've just been using this lately just to get under my eyes and just to get coverage on any redness I have on my face because this is a full coverage foundation so I just apply that. And then just to get my skin a little bit more color I've been using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi and this is in N1-2 Neutral, it says Soft Ivory and Classic Ivory. So this just gives my face a little bit more color because this is too pale for me right now so it really washes me out. And then to just bring even more color back into my face, I contoured with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Exposed, which is what I always use to contour and I love it. Sometimes I'll use bronzer with this. And then to highlight my cheekbones, another Tarte Amazonian Clay and Angelic. So I just have that on the top of my cheekbones and that is all that I have on. Oh, I also put um, an eye primer on. I used uh, Max Paint Pot in Painterly. So I have that on my lid so we are good to go with shadow. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing more of like an everyday look that has some color in it. So the main focus is for the color is the Sephora Stargazer Edition palette. And the colors that I'm going to be using are um, is Heaven and Jupiter, which are these two beautiful colors right here. And I got this years ago. This is actually what Sephora used to do for birthday gifts, by the way, and they've really downgraded with a, here, have a chapstick. <laughs> um, so anyways, what I'm going to do is take a small shader brush and go into heaven which is like the lighter pink color and just sort of put this all over my lids. And I'm going to put that a little bit right into the inner corner and then now I'm going to take the same brush and go into Jupiter and put that more on the outer corner of the eye. And then this can have some fallout so that's why I'm kind of packing it on and just Again, you just want to get like the ideal shape of how you want your eyeshadow to go. Okay, so now that we have that laid down, we're going to go into our Naked 2 palette. And I'm only going to be using two colors. I'm going to be using Booty Call and Tease, which is this pretty sparkly highlight color and then just a matte color for in the crease. So we're going to take a big fluffy brush and just get some of Tease and then just blend this out. And then if you wanted to add more brown, of course, you can add a little bit more of teas, which I am going to do. Okay, and then for that inner corner, we're going to go back in with the flat shader brush and just take Booty Call and use that as the highlight. And then if you want, you can take some of this and put it underneath your brow bone as well. And then once you have that, it is time for eyeliner. Okay, and for liner, I'm going to do something a little bit different than your typical black liner. I'm going to be using a brown one, and this is Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide on Pencil in Demolition. And this is one of my favorite eyeliners. I just, I absolutely love this color and it glides on so easily and very it's very pigmented. You don't have to really struggle to get the color to show. So as usual, I go thinner on the inner part and thicker on the outer end. Now, if you want, you can just go ahead and leave the liner as it is, but if you want to um, 
darken it up a little bit and add a little bit more color. I'm going to take the dark purple Orion in the palette, which is like a true purple with lots of glitter in it. And then this is just going to add some color to your lash line and a little bit of sparkle. So you're just going to trace that right on top of where we put the eyeliner. It's going to help darken it up if the brown's not dark enough for you and add a little bit of the purple. just like that and then you are all set with shadow and it is time for you to use mascara. Okay and then for mascara what I use is my CoverGirl Clump Cluster. Why do I, I can never get the name of stupid mascara right? Clump Crusher. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say. And then I paired it today with Buxom's um, Amplified Lash Mascara. And what I love about this mascara, I think it's so cool, um, is that it has like a retractable wand in a way. So you can see how the wand, it looks short right there, but you can spin the top and it gets longer. So I think like this is really cool. So if you just want to do like nice, thin, like spread out lashes that don't have too much attention to them, that's what this would be good for. And then you can shorten the wand to get it a little bit thicker and clumpier on your lashes, which is the look that I like to go for. So that's what I used on my lashes. And to finish this off, I'm, since I'm not really going anywhere, I like to keep things pretty neutral. So if you want to wear a blush, go for it. I just want to go for anything too colorful or crazy since you have the purple in your eyes. And for lips, I'm just using this Derm Store Lip Quench, which is like my favorite thing ever. I'm going to be so sad when it, you know, runs out. And it just gives you like a nice iridescence to your lips and it really keeps your lips moisturized for hours. Like I don't have to apply chapstick until like hours after wearing this. It's pretty awesome. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye!